Hey everybody, welcome to another review. Um, today I uh, got a couple requests and uh, I think I'm going to do three reviews tonight. I'm going to start out with uh, Viper. Uh, it's a Sunbelt antivirus anti malware program. I've personally never used it before, but uh, we'll see how it works. I got 10 brand new malware links and let's get started here just downloaded it off the website so it uh, should be fresh. I'm going to connect to the internet right now. I'm going to agree here. Create a desktop icon. That's fine. Let's install it. Looks like it's uh, going pretty fast here. While that's working away, um, well, it's already done. The installer's decently sized. It's about almost 70 megs, so it's not small to say the least. And right now it's uh, going to ask me to restart, so I'm going to pause the video while the computer is restarting. Be back in a second. Okay, welcome back. Uh, computer is just uh, finishing restarting here. We'll make sure it's uh, updated and uh, we'll check out the settings and make sure everything is uh, where it should be. Okay, let's see if we can go up to the wizard. I don't connect to a proxy. Check for updates. Um, if you watch my counter spy video, this looks a lot like it. Uh, the at least this part of it. It's just got a different name for it, but it, uh, it looks a lot like it. And I'm sure that Viper, because it's got the anti spyware, it uh, also uses the definitions from counter spy in it. Well, this is updating so we don't waste a lot of time on the video. I'm going to pause it again and I'll be right back when it's done updating. Okay, the update finished. Uh, it took a little bit, but that's okay. And uh, we'll go on here with the setup Enable Active Protection. We'll uh, just leave everything like it is. We're not going to mess with any of the settings. It's going to integrate it. Uh, it's going to turn turn off Windows Defender. Going to get it free for 15 days. I don't want to view a demonstration. And we're just going to finish it here to make sure everything is good. So everything got updated here. Let's, uh, let's see. We got scan. We got manage. You got tools. Let's check out. See what we got for settings here. Scan options, active protection. I'm going to once again go to prompt me if an unknown program tries to change important system settings. And I'm going to click uh, for uh, prompt me if suspicious characteristics are identified. Email protection I'm not going to mess with. Windows integration, power, and proxy settings, all those I'm going to leave stock. So. I did the couple changes I would normally do to this program. Let's pop open Internet Explorer here and uh, let's see what we got. I haven't tested any of these links, so I hope some of them are working. Looks like the first one's working. and that one got blocked so that's good that was a rogue security program and that got blocked too trojan downloader so that's two out of two that's good
Okay, whatever that was. And that was another Trojan, and that got blocked. Antivirus Pro 2010 is downloading, but it stopped it. It blocked it. It's going to keep asking me on these couple of other programs. So that got blocked. That's good. And that one's not working apparently. This one's a huge program. It's 9 megs. So uh, we're going to keep going while that does its thing in the background. And we got a program here changing your system startup settings. Uh, well, we're gonna see. Let's take a look at some details here. So we're gonna block that. We'll see what happens with that one if it uh, gets through at all. That was going to take forever. This one might be dead. Okay, that one's working. That one got blocked. And here we go. Here's another one. Uh, this is a uh, program trying to change your system startup. So uh, we're going to block that. And uh, whenever that one gets done downloading, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video while this thing downloads. And I'll be back when it's all done. See you in a second. OK, download's almost done here. And uh, let's see what it does with it. <sighs> took forever to download too. Okay, it looks like it's not doing anything. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Okay, and there you go. It blocked it. Trojan. So, uh, and there's uh, something trying to... the same exe trying to mess with my startup, so I'll block that. So what I'm gonna do now is... Uh, and okay. I'm going to go and uh, run a full scan and see if it finds anything else. So I'm going to start the scan up and I'm going to pause the video and I'll be right back when the scan is done. Okay, I just finished the scan here. It found some cookies and it found uh, some remnants, I guess, of uh, Antivirus Pro 2010. So we'll clean it out here. Looks like it's all done. And uh, what I'm going to do right now, because I'd like to keep these reviews short and to one video so I don't have to upload a ton of stuff, I'm going to pause the video. As you can see, I've downloaded uh, Malwarebytes. I'm going to install it just like I've always done. I'm going to update it, and I'm going to run a quick scan. So the next screen you guys see will be Malwarebytes with the leftovers. See you in a second. Okay, uh, just finished scanning here. Let's check out see what it found. We've got a couple things in... Uh, Oh, I missed a couple things here and there. So, it didn't do bad. Missed a couple bankers and uh, uh, the Trojan Downloader. But uh, not bad at all, seeing as a lot of these were brand new. So, there's the review for Viper. Um, not much more I can say about this. And uh, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to finish up this review. I got less than like 30 seconds. And I'm going to get started on the other two. And uh, I'll catch you guys next time.